Let's take a look at how you can replace text in a table. I've got a shape file here, and if I open the attribute table, I can see in the name column, we've got a field and it tells us what the feature is. So this is Serengeti National Park, and there's lots of other features. So here, I'm gonna show you an example where I want to replace the words National Park with the initials NP. And that's actually quite simple to do in QGIS. I could create a new column, but what I want to do in this case is I want the words National Park in the name column to be replaced with NP. So to do this, I can click on this little button, which looks like an abacus, it's a field calculator. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna update an existing field. So I tick that box and it's the name column I want. And what we need to do is use the replace function. If I start typing the word replace, we'll see that we can select it. But I can keep typing it, but if I double click here, we'll get replaced and I'll open a bracket and then I'll go to the right to my fields and values section because this will list all the fields in my table. So I'll double click on name. So that tells me I want to replace something in the name column. Then I hit a comma. And what I'm gonna do is I'm only gonna replace the word national park. So I just put national park in single quotes like this. And then close it and put a comma after it. And I want to replace that with NP. So again, in single quotes, I'll put NP. Close those single quotes and close the bracket. And now we can actually see in a little preview below that box, Arusha National Park will become Arusha NP. So I'll just click on OK. It'll be very quick. And in our name column, we now see instead of Serengeti National Park, we have Serengeti NP. The only thing you need to do now is turn off edit mode because when you start this process the table is put into editing mode and you'll know that because the little pencil icon will be depressed so I'll click that QGIS asks if I want to save it so I'll click save and that's as done if we wanted to at the first stage we could have created a new field so a new column uh, but in this case I didn't want to do that I just wanted to change the text in this name column and it's done with the replace function. So hopefully you'll find that useful in your work.